All right, Coach, another visit from the Manitoba Moose and another game where uh, they put up a pretty solid wall and uh, made it real tough to generate some offense tonight. Yeah, there uh, really wasn't uh, a lot of positive about tonight's game. You know, I uh, really came as advertised, and I, I think we've talked a lot about how Manitoba plays, and, uh, you know, they win their 50-50 battles, they compete, and, uh, you know, they get good gap control, uh, play with structure, and, um, you know, they, they got some, some bigger guys over there that uh, certainly can finish checks and, and win their fair share of 50-50 battles. And if you're not ready to play that type of game, um, nights like tonight are going to happen. And that certainly uh, was quite evident today with our team. Uh, what, yeah, what is it about their game that's made it so difficult to generate offense? Uh, uh, again, especially through the neutral zone, it seems like they were stopping even the entries. You didn't really even have much time to set up. Well, I, I think it's just stubbornness on our part. I mean, uh, certainly we've covered... Um, what we need to do uh, on a game-to-game -game basis against uh, whatever opponent's coming in. And uh, there are teams that uh, certainly stand up uh, on the line and play with great gap control. And uh, ironically, you know, Manitoba and us, we have the same neutral zone four check. And uh, when our neutral zone four check's on, it's, it's difficult to get through it, you know. And if you're going to be stubborn at the blue lines and not put pucks to space, uh, you know, you're, you're not going to be able to sustain any OZP because you're going to be constantly turning the pucks over and uh, we certainly had a lot of guys tonight that uh, didn't want to play the right way. And uh, when you don't play the right way, uh, not a lot of positives come out of it. Uh, a tough, tough night like you mentioned, but you can always take some positives out of games, um, especially in late in the third where you're able to, to find the back of the net twice. Well, I, I think our team you know, all year has been very resilient and uh, certainly uh, there's never been any quit in our guys and uh, the compete is there. Uh, so that's always a positive on your team uh, aspect of it. And uh, whether we're down one or two or three, uh, we seem to always uh, uh, try and get a couple late goals. You know, so that's uh, certainly a positive. But uh, you know, overall, uh, I just felt that uh, you know uh, we had a nice little string of games going there, and uh, I thought we were in rhythm. And then obviously uh, the last two nights have not been uh, uh, to our liking as a coaching staff because we just got got away from how we need to play to be successful and until uh, you know that changes uh, and that becomes consistent uh, you're going to have weeks where you lose two and then weeks where you win two. And when you look to next week and you try to I guess reshape kind of the habits and the way things are playing is it a matter of video is it a matter of going through drills and practice how do you turn things back around? Well it's going to be a little bit of both you know it's uh, you know, we got three big games next week against the two best teams in the conference, so it's not going to be easy. You know, Toronto uh, is certainly the best team in, the, in our division, and, and Hershey is certainly running away uh, with the uh, <clears throat> the other division. So, um, if we don't, you know, come and play with structure and uh, some detail to our game, um, you know, we're going to get the same results. So, uh, it's going to be a big week for us. But uh, all you can do is uh, turn the page off the off day and and go back to work Monday, and we'll put a practice together that's going to allow us to compete and, and work on uh, some things that maybe we didn't do well over the last two days and, and go back at it Wednesday. That's all you can do.